All attendees are in listen-only mode. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Why Towels Are the Most Effective Promotional Item for Your Clients, by Mary Isles from Simba Towels. Today, you're listening in using your computer speaker system by default. If you would prefer to join over the phone, select telephone in the audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed. You'll have the opportunity to submit questions to Mary by typing them into the questions pane on the control panel. You can send your questions in at any time and we'll address them during the Q&A session at the end. To give a brief introduction on today's presenter, Mary has been in the textile industry for over 35 years and supplying the promotional industry for 20 years. Her experience in textiles started many years ago with Vogue magazine in London and then with Moran Furniture and Laura Ashley in Australia. Extensive travels to suppliers and factories plus over 20 years with Simba has given Mary the expertise which you can rely on to help you with sales of textiles to your customers. She knows a thing or two about towels and she loves to share her knowledge to help you understand the processes and win your towel sales. I'll now hand you over to Mary. Thanks Kate and hello and Good afternoon, morning, whatever it is to everyone. Thank you so much for listening. Um, I'm going to go through a few things to cover um, product information, which will help you hopefully sell our product. Simba Global is an international network headquartered in Melbourne. It includes a diverse portfolio of products and services in primarily textiles. We have offices in Singapore, India, China, Bangladesh, and Bangladesh with our own paid staff so no agents. We have recently acquired businesses in New Zealand and Victoria to service the commercial and healthcare sectors. The company is divided up loosely into two divisions, Simba Commercial, who look after our commercial customers, i.e. hotels, laundries, major remote mining companies, etc., and Simba Retail, which is rather a diverse group who look after our retail customers, online wholesalers like Ozsale, Temple and Webster, etc., our outlet shop, and of course, the most important one, promotional product distributors. Promotional di division is managed by myself with a support team, including Sarah, Ashok, Roz, and of course, a team of um, other people behind them um, looking after you. Simba Global is a privately owned business established for over 40 years, and the Samaya family are directors of the company and are actively involved in the business internationally. So. What marketing tools does Simba offer you to help sell our towels? There are obviously various things that are pretty obvious, but I'll just go through them. There's our website. There's our generic website, which is effectively the same website, but without any login details, prices, or reference to Simba. Brochures, price list, samples at end quantity prices, self-promotion at special prices, and of course, expert help with your Simba towel brains who are always available. You are our eyes and ears and we'll give you all the info you need to secure the sale. So don't be afraid to call. How do you use the Simba website? The Simba website is really simple and you can check stock before you log in. So if you're in a panic about looking for stock and you can't find your um, username or password, you can check stock before you look in, uh, before you log in. So you search by item, you get to the item, and then there are the little colored squares, as you can see here. So in this case, we want to know what lime, uh, how many lime are available, and there's 2,234 2, available. Finding prices on the website. You can view prices and order online once you have logged in. If you don't have a login, go to the login page and create an account. You will be asked for the industry you are in, and once completed, you will receive your username and password, and then you can see appropriate prices for your business. We also have a brochure, and we have a price list. So you can have the price list by soft copy if you need it, and the brochures can be ordered. We do supply those free of charge, but if the quantity is uh, a rather large quantity, then we do request that you kindly pay for freight, but otherwise the brochures are free of charge. So why are towels brilliant for promotions? When was the last time you threw away a towel? Towels last a, li last a lifetime. Towels are the perfect gift for both men and women. One size fits all, so you don't have to worry about uh, uh, you know, collar size or arm length. 
you've just got to make sure that they are fit for purpose, so the right size towel. They have one of the largest decoration areas of nearly all promotional products. Now imagine maybe flags, tablecloths, big decoration area, but otherwise they're wearable because you can wear a towel and they have very big decoration areas. And they're perfect for sporting events, golf tournaments, fun runs, product launches, corporate programs, conference gifts, pillow packs, settlement gifts, catalogue programs, incentive giveaways, gifts with purchase, Christmas gifts for staff and customers, and dis distributor self-promotion. So just ask yourself how many times you use a towel a day. <laughs> it's quite interesting when you ask yourself, you, know, you get up in the morning, you have a shower, you go to the gym, you use your towel, you go to the golf course, you use your towel, you might go um, on a fun run, this is all in the same day, of course. <laughs> so you use a towel every day. It's a usable. It's something that everybody uses every day of their lives. So a perfect promotional product. So now to some technical stuff. I'm going to give you some info which will help you understand correct toweling terminology for towels, as there are a few terms to be debunked as they are not quite in the towel lexicon. I will explain the differences um, in decoration methods and MOQs. I obviously in this forum won't be discussing pricing. Towel yarns. Most towels are made from cotton. It's a major textile fiber in the world. It's the flower from the cotton plant and cotton fibers can vary in length, color and texture, thus providing varying characteristics. Cotton in general is very strong, elastic and absorbent and it can withstand high temperatures and is very receptive to dyes. There are various other yarns that can be used um, uh, in towel and bed linen manufacturing and sometimes blended with cotton. You would have heard of bamboo. Bamboo is used in clothing. It has good absorbency, luster and softness. Bamboo yarn is made with bamboo that is harvested and distilled into cellulose that is then spun into yarn. We use bamboo in bed linen for its softness and luster. Silk is available for texture and softness, often in uh, bath towels, expensive, and very high MOQ. Viscose. Viscose is a plant-based fibre that reacts differently to dyes. And this means that colour variation can be achieved. We don't use it a lot anymore in towels. We used to. It has a nice soft handle, but we don't use it very much anymore. Organic yarns are expensive and there's a very high MOQ. And soy, believe it or not, is in development as a yarn. Microfiber. Microfiber is a man-made product with many different structures and utilized for a multitude of different textile products, obviously clothing, washcloths and towels. So very loosely, I've just covered three uh, types of microfiber that Simba use. Coral fleece is a microfiber yarn used for bathrobes, and there's a little picture of it, soft and fluffy and delicious. Microfiber can be woven into either terry or chamois. Chamois is a very soft, fine fiber uh, fabric, very um, absorbent and used for um, travel, uh, travel towels and that sort of thing. Microfiber can also be made into printed towels. So this is a picture of a, a printed product that had terry loops on both sides, and we'll get to that in just a second. Can yarn or a towel be truly green? Organic cotton is grown in subtropical tropical countries such as India, Pakistan, Turkey and India from non-genetically modified plants grown without the use of any synthetic agricultural chemicals such as fertilizers or pest pesticides. For the promotional industry, you'll find that it's just too expensive and the MOQ is very high. So I've got something beeping at me. Sorry. <laughs> Microfiber? It's not at all green. It's made from petrochemicals. Can a towel be truly green? In the dyeing process, the pro sorry, the process to dye yarn or towels includes ingredients like peroxides and other caustics that can't be discharged untreated into a water supply. But many towel factories run their own water treatment plants to ensure that the water the mill discharges meets minimum standards for pH, temperature, etc. 
And just something that's been happening over the last month or so, China has recently implemented stringent environmental laws and have closed many factories who don't comply. You'll be glad to hear that Simba's factories all comply. <laughs> okay, next lesson. What is the difference between a yarn dyed and a piece dyed towel? A piece dyed towel is woven using cotton yarn in its natural state. That's it on the left. Once woven, it is then dyed, washed, dried, and cut and hemmed. Generally, your bath bathroom towels are piece dyed. So that's where it's woven in its natural state and then put in a great big pot and dyed. A yarn dyed towel is woven on a loom using different colored yarns to create a pattern, logo, or stripe. As a general rule, if you want to easily identify a piece dyed towel, the front and the back of the towel are the same color, whereas the yarn dyed towel has a pattern or logo made up of different colored yarns. What is a terry towel? A terry towel has loops on both sides of the towel and characteristics of terry towels are good absorbency, long wearing and easy to launder. Washing before first use improves the handle of the towel. And remember that when you get your new towels, they've been in a factory, they've been packed into a cardboard box, they've been da 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 da. So you're going to obviously wash them before use. So here you can see that's terry loops, a little bit harder to see here, but that's terry loops on both sides of those pictures. What is a velour towel? For those of you who've uh, listened to my presentations before, velour is a process, not a fiber. So velour towels start with terry loops on both sides, and then the loops on the front of the towels are sheared or shaved to give a soft, smooth texture and to make the design clearer when printed or woven. A towel can only be velour on one side, and the back of the towel is always terry. The velour, towel of the towel, velour side of the towel is usually less absorbent as the moisture tends to sit on top of the cut pile rather than wicking down the shaft of the terry loop. This is normal. And the velour side of the towel is generally for sitting on and the terry side, side is for drying. So it's not a fiber, it's still cotton, it's still absorbent, it's just the nature of the cutting of the loops which makes it slight feel slightly less absorbent. Correct terminology. Strictly speaking, in true Simba towel language, and this is really towel language, the finish on the front of the towel is the, uh, is the style you refer to. So it's either a velour towel or a terry towel, generally speaking, not a velour terry towel. So again, here you can see the velour side of the towel and the back of it is terry. What is a jacquard towel? The jacquard towel was invented by Monsieur Jacquard in 1804, and the type of loom can make carpets, clothing fabrics, and towels. A jacquard towel is created by weaving different colored yarns together to weave a pattern or logo. And you'll see on the left here, you've got a towel that's got um, colors in it, and it's being woven one, two, three, four, five across the loom. This is a hand loom. Believe it or not, when I first started in Simba, there were hand loom towels. This is where a fellow puts the shuttle backwards and forwards across the, across the loom. Not readily available now, but um, still available in some countries. So a jacquard towel, generally speaking, has two or, th two or three colors, mostly two, and they can be woven into a promotional jacquard towel. Sometimes we can utilize three or more colors, but the MOQ increases as we have to dye a specified quantity of yarn per colored dye batch. So our minimums for a uh, woven jacquard towel are 400 pieces, and that's where we have equal quantities of yarn. So a black and white towel or a red and blue towel. In this case, on the left, you'll see that we've got brown. Down the left, so we had to increase the quantity that this customer ordered because we had to buy the same quantity 
of yarn, that's the minimum quantity of yarn, to make up this tail. This was a little bit less because the red in the tail was a little bit less, a little bit more than the brown. So we can do three colours, just ask if you get stuck. How do you sell a jacquard towel? As a general rule, it's very easy to work out what you can and can't weave. So a general rule for woven jacquard towels is that you can only weave two colours in any one vertical band or line. So in the case of Amity, so obviously purple, I've got a line going down here, so it goes white, purple, white, purple, white, purple, that's two colours. But in the case of the Australian flag, I'm right to start with, vertical band, blue, white, blue, white, blue, white, then I get here and I go white, red, white, blue, three colours, can't be woven. So as long as you've got that rule in your head, you just have to look at a logo, you can rotate it. And as long as there are only two colours in a vertical band, then it can be made, woven. So there's a three colour towel. So that's white, grey, white, red, white. But this one, Breaker, uh-oh, can't do him because he's got white, pale blue, white, pale blue, dark blue three colours in a vertical band. So the rule is you can only weave two colours in any one vertical band or line. What is a fibre reactive printed towel? Now there's a lot of confusion. Fibre reactive printing is not sublimation. Fibre reactive dyes are applied to a white velour towel using technology similar to screen printing but under high pressure and steam. So there are screens, effectively. The dyes react chemically with the fabric, which is cotton or microfiber, and combine and dye the fibers right down to the base of each individual fiber or loop of the towel. The soft handle is achieved by washing the towel after printing, which removes any excess inks and gives the towel a soft handle. The towels are then cut and sewn and finished. This method allows for edge-to-edge -edge printing. So the, please note, fiber reactive and sublimation, two different things. This is, I tried to get a photo to show you where the fibers go, the um, inks go right down to the base of the fiber of the front of the towel. A little bit hard to see, but uh, that was the reason for this photo. This is a quote that I received from the opposition, which actually doesn't make sense because it's saying premium terry velour towel, size is right, terry white on bottom. I don't, I know what they mean, but that's not right. White on back is probably what they mean. Full sublimation reactive print velour side. Not right, <laughs> not right. And that's from a reputable supplier who supplies you with towels. Okay, fiber reactive printed towels, just a couple of ideas of what we've printed um, recently. We also do um, uh, sports towels and hand towels. MOQ for, sorry, MOQ for the beach towels is a thousand. MOQ for hand towels is 3,000 and for the sports towel is 3,000. Brilliant product if you can cope with the quantities. What's dye sublimation? Now, dye sublimation is heat transfer and can only be applied to polyester or microfiber. So it can't be done on 100% cotton towel. We have two products which uh, use the dye sublimation process. Our Photo Plus range has a woven in polyester panel at the bottom of the towel for printing. We print onto paper and then heat press, press that paper onto the towel. So that's what the Photo Plus product looks before printing, that's what it looks like after printing. So we will match, in this case, we match the background black to a black towel, and we did a nice print. That's what they start off like. And on the back of this towel is not polyester, it is cotton, so it is the same color as the towel. I hope that's clear. <laughs> The other product that we do in um, uh, Photo Plus is obviously the uh, sports towel and golf towels. 
PhotoPlus with real personalization. I don't know whether you realize that on PhotoPlus we can do single names. So each individual person gets their own towel. A fantastic opportunity for an award, for schools, end of season awards, teams, etc. And this fellow swam the channel. Good on him. The other application for dye sublimation are Color Plus. Color Plus starts off as a white towel with cotton terry on the back of the towel and 50% microfiber velour on the front. It's then printed with a paper, big paper, heat transferred onto the towel. We do three different sizes. Minimum for each size is only 100 pieces. Just to point out the difference, the this photo is a lot better. You see how the color doesn't quite go down to the shaft of the towel? That's because the paper has been pressed onto the towel and there's no dye going down the shaft. It's important you know that as the difference between the two, the fiber reactive and color plus. Another application that we can do is to print a panel or patch um, with a sublimation method and then sew that patch onto the towel. Uh, the advantage of that is that you can get, uh, uh, the patch is 16 by 16, um, they're 595, oh, I shouldn't mention price, but anyway, they're 595, um, and the advantage is the um, over um, embroidery. So you don't see the back um, of the embroidery in this particular case. What's a digital print? A digital print is a little bit like a desktop printer and the ink does sit more on the surface of the towel. The advantage of this is, is that it's 100% cotton. So for those people who don't want a microfiber towel, minimum is still 100 pieces and it's a similar, similar end result. What's a screen print? I, I think most of you will know what a screen print is, but I'll just cover it and I'll cover some um, anomalies. Towels, tea, cow tea towels, pillowcases, bags, etc., can be screen printed using water based pigments. Traditional screen print methods are used, and we can print large format onto beach towels. The pigments do sit on the surface of a velour towel, so there is a slight texture to the print. We do include a softener in the pigment to ensure the handle is acceptable, but you need to know that it does sit on the surface. Lighter weight and denser pile velour towels like our signature range are best for screen printing. Screen print decoration is suitable for smaller quantities and, done, and is done by our contract printer in Melbourne. Our minimum quantity for screen printing is 50 pieces. Just to give you an idea of the different inks that are used, um, tone on tone is a tone lighter than the colour of the towel. Black is pretty obvious. A PMS match and ivory touch. Now, it's important you understand that particularly with ivory touch and PMS match, we don't lay a white base down, we use a discharge ink. And there are some discharge inks that don't work well on some colored towels. So certain pigments react differently to certain dyes in the towel. Simba have completed product development to ensure we get the best result. But lighter discharge pigments onto dark towels can be used on most colors, but sometimes the pigments react badly and the color is wrong, and we don't lay this white base. For example, if you try to dye a royal colored towel with a white pigment, it doesn't take properly, and the result is blotchy. It happens on all dye, uh, sorry, all royal colored dyed fabrics, so not just towels. Clothing has a problem as well. And if you refer to the Simba price list, the info has got what colors you can print what color. Quality. People always say to me they want good quality, and I have a rather rude answer to that. There are many different components to a towel, but the general rule is that the heavier and softer the towel, the better it is. And don't forget that quality is all perception. You pay for what you get or you get for what you pay. So be careful that you sell a, a towel that is fit for purpose. For instance, a heavy towel is suitable for the bathroom, 
where you can dry it out easily between uses, a.m. to p.m., whereas a lighter weight towel is better suited to the beach or gym where it gets more frequent use in one period and needs to dry more quickly. What does GM2 or grams per square meter mean? GM2 is a measure of weight, or some people say the better the quality. Take care not to confuse GM2 with GPP, which means grams per piece. While both measurements are perfectly valid, the results will be quite different. And I've just put an example there, a towel that is 75 by 150, that is 500 GM2 will weigh 562 grams per piece. So slightly different, just be careful. But grams per square meter is the usual measure. The more grams per square meter, the heavier the towel. Now, for those of you who know me, that's what I've got here, Mary's little beef. A fret, there is no such thing as a fret on a towel. A fret is a raised portion of the neck of a stringed instrument that extends gender, generally across the full width of the neck. Frets are used usually metal strips inserted into the fingerboard, nothing to do with a towel, but now in common and incorrect usage in Australia. And don't mention a fret to Simba. It is a border. It is a border. Some towel looms can manufacture a flat woven section at either end of the towel. This can be plain for additional decoration like embroidery, but watch out. Some towels have two borders at either end and you would then need two embroideries or two prints, which adds cost. Simba generally avoid borders so that decoration can be placed anywhere on the towel and you don't waste that bottom band or border, you don't waste that in toweling. Don't mention a fret. <laughs> What's a hook and grommet? A hook and grommet is, the grommet is that little round jiggery thing, and the hook is obviously the hook that we put onto sports towels and golf towels. Great for the gym, bar, barista, vineyard or restaurant. But we don't hold stock of towels already with the hook and grommet, except for the Photo Plus golf towel, but can apply to any towel in any format, single or triple fold. So, <clears throat> now you know everything. What towel do you offer your client? And the questions you need to ask, and these are the questions that you will ask your customer, or I will ask you when you want me to give you a quote, is how many? What budget are you prepared to spend? What's the purpose of the promotion? When do you need them? Why are you selecting towels for this promotion? What are the colors of the logo? And where do you need them delivered? Now, all of those questions should be part of your question to your customer so that I can give you the answers if you ring me and you want a quote. So how many? For Simba, undecorated, you can buy one towel. Local decoration is 50 pieces, indent from 100 pieces. What budget are you prepared to spend? This will help me give you your quote. If you've got a quote for a beach towel for $3, I'm going to say, look, I'm sorry, I can't help you. So if you've got a budget in mind, help me help you by giving me the budget. What's the purpose of the promotion? Is it a Christmas gift for a, a, a six-star um, uh, corporate uh, company? That might be different to a gift with purchase where you don't want something so expensive. Is it a giveaway? Okay, so we need to be a little bit cheap, but it needs to be effective. When do you need them? So if you need towels in two weeks, you're going to be limited to stock. If you've got a few months, we can do indent and you can manage the um, larger quantities. What are the colors in the logo? So the colors help us so, and it, it fine tunes the whole question and answer business so that I can say, okay, we want purple. I know exactly which towels I'm going to offer you and we know the quantity. So this is what we can, we can talk about and we can help you with the quote. Where do they need to be delivered? Simba's in Melbourne, so freight times must be calculated. We had an inquiry yesterday for something to go to, to Cairns. Cairns by road is a week. So we just need to be careful of 
the how, what, when, where, why questions are important for you to ask your customer. And obviously, these are the questions that I'm going to be asking you. Some other questions answered for you. What can we offer a distributor to ensure that you're competitive in the Australian market? Simba are the only experienced tower company in Australia with large buying power of a very competitive product. It is very competitive and a lot of you distributors are going now direct to China to get your quotes. If you want us to be competitive, you have to be open with your quotes to us. If you've got a quote from China, I can easily look at it and I can say, look, I think I can be competitive, but we have to be we have to have an open book and please trust me. <laughs> How often do we renew and launch our catalogue? Each July and at APA Convex. What quality control procedures do we have in place? We have local offices in India, China, Pakistan and Bangladesh who liaise with our mills and monitor and inspect orders. All orders are inspected. And we do have appropriate OCO techs and compliance certificate available if required. What is your return procedure with 40 goods already shipped and received by client? Advise Simba of the problem and get an RA. Don't send it back without an RA, please. That's a return authority. And what's your order cancellation policy? Orders in production usually can't be cancelled if all approvals have been signed and production is in process. However, stock items can be returned with an RA as long as they're in 100% good condition. However, you pay a restocking fee and freight. 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 Towel care. Always wash before use. I mentioned this earlier. Don't use bleach. If you've got a tumble dryer, use the tumble dryer. Or if you're being green, hang them on the line and give them a good shake and rub them up before you fold them up and put them in the cupboard. Always wash after use in the pool. This is important because chemicals in the pool can actually damage the towel or stain it. Don't dry clean. Don't use water softeners or water conditioners because that actually puts a film on the towel like it puts on your hair and makes the towel less absorbent. Please don't put sticky labels on towels as the label when removed can pull out the pile and damage the towel. Please don't pull loose threads, just snip carefully and this will not damage the towel. Towels will naturally fluff after the first couple of washes, but fluff will dissipate after a few washes and a good shake or put them in, in the dryer for 10 minutes. So you can see that we know a lot about towels. So talk to the experts with the best product knowledge and the biggest range to suit your customers' promotional needs. There's our phone number. There's the admin uh, email address. There's my email address. You can hop onto the website and look at some videos um uh, training videos that we will continue to do and of course you're very welcome to come and visit just give us a call so we can put the kettle on thank you thank you mary that was excellent very informative uh, there don't seem to be any questions so far so if you do have any questions for mary later um, her details are on the screen Tomorrow you'll receive a follow-up email with a link to view the recording of today's webinar and a link to view the slides. On behalf of Mary and Appa, thank you for joining us today and have a great afternoon, everybody.